Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for your nice introduction, Dr. Lee. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Lee, the end organizer, inviting me to be here to be able to talk to you. Uh, I'd like to be the really not relate too much about the procedure of the really essential before uh, conducting the vaccine trial, really relating to burden, the economic burden of cancer of my disease. Actually, it is a part of my previous project. Uh, but, uh, but I would like to introduce a uh, children's hospital where it was more than 20 years. A uh, children's hospital want, uh, was established in the, um, 1956 to more than 60 years ago with uh, 250 beds. Now the, the number of beds increased approximately to 5 times, 6 times. Then uh, 20 years ago, a uh, number of the, uh, staff uh, around uh, 60 hundreds uh, staff. We are the published hospitals under the ministry, under the public health service of Ho Chi Minh City. Although uh, located in the Ho Chi Minh City, we provide uh, health care for the southern provinces, including the uh, Mekong Delta River region. And uh, about the activity of our hospital, uh, you can mention that every day we receive around, every around 6,000 visits a day. So, so uh, our patient clinic is very busy. So every year we uh, receive uh, around uh, 100,000 admissions. Um, and we also, the, the teaching hospitals uh, for the uh, medical the school in Ho Chi Minh City. And now we move to the, 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 the studies that the cause of chronic foot mouth disease in uh, Vietnam. Uh, Eighty minor uh, hand foot mouth disease uh, had become the public health concerns in Asian country for recent decades. And uh, it's possibly become economic burden to, uh, on society, especially in the, uh, Taiwan, Vietnam, and China. And uh, for Vietnam, uh, this is a uh, uh, everybody they have become the, the issues, how is public health issues uh, in Vietnam since uh, 2003, where the first case of the illicit one was isolated in the foot in the China with uh, acute and subpolitic. Since then, uh, around uh, uh, 4,000 4, cases were reported until uh, 2011 and 2012. Uh, Vietnam reached a um, um, large average with more than 200,000 um, cases and about more than 200 deaths in 2011 and 2012. After that, the, the number of the admission cases and there's the uh, Degree, significant de degree. In our last year, we just only had, luckily, we just only had one day, and the number of cases around more, around 40,000 admission. So, um, but uh, the economic burden of disease is still essential for for the, the health health uh, policy maker. So that's the reason why we conducted a study about uh, the cost of units of hand foot body disease in order to identify the economic burden of hand foot body disease in Vietnam with the specific objectives about uh, uh, estimate the total cost of the hand foot body disease by uh, superiority and by the uh, by trade of and by a common function or associated with and good mild disease. Now we move to the, the matter that we are, this is a prospective observational study uh, conducted in the three major hospitals in Ho Chi Minh City, Super uh, Hospital 1, Chapter 2, and uh, Tokyo Hospital in Ho Chi Minh for disease in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, 
really gives the dragon a prospect or science or perspective. And the uh, indirect cause was sequence that gives uh, a human character approach. We include uh, outpatient and pa uh, patient and the inpatient work. And this is uh, uh, the duration of the study from April 2016 to uh, December 2017. This is uh, the, the uh, inclusion criteria. And uh, we include uh, on patients uh, with the diagnostic, clinical diagnostic hand foot mouth disease uh, in our patient, in patient, uh, and who can uh, come back for follow up visit uh, or a read contact on the phone. And uh, return informed consent from the client. And uh, this is some the definition of the cost. Uh, we definition uh, the direct medical cost from um, health system, that means the hospital, a clinical pays by the woman. We call the, the, the ratio of the two costs of check, a uh, ratio check to cost in, in, in uh, this hospital equivalent about one. Uh, and the uh, direct medical cost from uh, patient, that means the hospital. Uh, a picture faced by the patient and the parent, and the co there is um, there is no medical cost in terms of patient fees and cost rating regarding the uh, patient care and special diet accommodation, and especially the indirect cost we uh, we just include the productivity losses uh, for, uh, of caretaker, uh, not be mm, didn't include. Uh, the major deaths we usually count very about 3%. This is the result of the study. This is the characteristic of patients. We have total uh, um, uh, 466 patients, including the 39 patients. Our patient and the rest is in patient among the two of K. To uh, a person addition to after some days for so we uh, pay this um, rate, this ratio to extrapolate the cost of the, um, the cost uh, and the number of outpatient cases and the cost of outpatient. This is then uh, similar to the others. Uh, among the hospital city accounts for around so. 40% and the rest of the, from the southern forces, especially in the Mekong River. And uh, we also uh, it take less than uh, the, 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 the work, the, the number of caregiver, that means uh, one, one patient uh, the, the net million of caregiver about three, and of, uh, of those, uh, uh, 60, uh, 65 percent have paid work, and the other unpaid work. We uh, collect this information in order to use the calculation cost, uh, the indirect cost, and uh, as we see here, around uh, 50 percent severe disease in Vietnam we classify and. One to four, the the more the uh, the higher degrees, the more severe and uh, she. And this is a uh, mm, the common person in the, the sample size of our study. This uh, is looking at around twenty percent, uh, caused by EB seventy one, and the other uh, some cannot detect them. But this is uh, the result from the other study, the long-term study. Uh, um, and uh, it's uh, here, uh, um, the EV71 germ vary the EV71 uh, the infection, the hepatitis infection by EV71 raised from the very 
different from yesteryear, especially in 2017, even last year, just uh, under 1%. So, my question, I think that when now we discuss about uh, the the, the, the conduct the study, the person trial, what is the time point? Is the analysis is uh, proper for that? Because uh, it's a very few case, because most of the study, the vaccine now is uh, concentrated on the EBA 21, even C4, B5, uh, C4, or B5, or B, B4. So we cannot cover the other construction. Here, uh, the other result from the, the, the long term study, we collaborate with the approach. Now, you see here, for Lincoln, as I mentioned before, I consider about uh, the, the how, to what extent the vaccine can re reduce the number of severe cases, not, not scale. No, not only caused by EB71, but also caused by the other hydrogen. I think could the potential trial the candidate vaccine can go on severe cases. As Dr. Lee mentioned that this morning, do we need to have do, do is it necessary to develop a multivalent vaccine which includes EB71? And add a person like Koski A16 and Stan or A6. It is the cost of the, the outpatient and inpatient. As you see here, the cost of uh, outpatient uh, is, uh, is much lower than the severe inpatient. Uh, and um, you see here the, the, the total direct score, just one half of indirect score. That means the, the patient and caretaker spend much time on to take care of their child uh, when they get sick. And uh, <coughs> in contrast, in the equation, the, the total direct cost is nearly more than double. Than the, in the restaurant. This is a cost for the buyer of households like cases. And you see here, the, the total cost for the severe cases is uh, approximately five times higher than that of the minor cases. And uh, we also calculate the cost for the price of common housing. You see here, uh, EB721 is the, the first in the list, uh, followed by uh, the CBA60, and CBA10, and CBA6. CBA6 now is uh, the prominent person in uh, our country. From that uh, unit scope, we I can place the, the economic burden of the hand foot mouth disease uh, for uh, at least some cases. It is uh, we based on the number of cases in this year and we multiply by the, the unit cost and we have the burden. As you see here, the, the burden of the hand foot mouth disease in the, the average years is much higher than the, the other years in the last 20 years. And also similar that for the, the, the outpatient cases and the economic burden. It's because there is a number of cases project is based on the admission rate. So it's the because of the number that means uh, two for uh, two admission cases we can have uh, 39 uh, cases in our patient and this is uh, the economic burden 
of the acute paralysis in our patient or our patient, the in the patient in come to the the out patient clinic, and this is the total uh, economic burden, and you see that uh, for the the average years, it can account it to only uh, two percent, zero point two percent in GDP of Vietnam. And uh, this is the number uh, of arms beer is more than, than uh, two times higher than the, the, the non average year. I think it, uh, in Taiwan we have the you, you have the, the study similar like that, the number of the, the economic burden is uh, more than five hundred uh, million. It's because uh, you know, uh, the cost of living in your country is higher than our in our country. So uh, I just want that uh, the, when we conduct the vaccine trial, not only is uh, concerned about uh, the coronavirus, the mortality, uh, co mortality caused by uh, EV71, but should consider about the uh, uh, severe cases caused by another pathogen and also economic burden. If you target in the EV71, it should only reduce the burden relating to EV71. Just in inpatient, not out in outpatient. That is what is uh, the comprehensive method, measure for that. It's a great point. Answer from you. This is a summarize of my state. Thank you for this.